container created. What I would like to do is split the base and the lid into two separate parts. I'm going to do that with the new standard IPT and the drive tool. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new standard IPT. Underneath the sweep tool, I'm going to come down to drive and I'm going to choose the entire container. Once I've got the entire container, and there's nothing at this point that I need to do with the drive part, I can just say OK. But what you can see in the browser bar is that I'm borrowing the example container from the original IPT. I can now make cuts and everything onto it and add and edit the part without damaging the original. First thing I'm going to do is create a sketch on the outside of the boss that I use on my vise. With that, I'm going to create a rectangle that's going to allow me to take away the boss and the base on one shot. I'll finish sketch. I'm going to extrude both of those rectangles as a cut. All. I now have the lid by itself. I'm going to create a surface operation on the lid that I can take into my cam software. Next thing I'm going to do is create a sketch on the lid. And what I want to do is try to create a loft. I'm going to loft this main shape back up to a simple circle. First thing I want to do is try to find the center of the part. I'm going to use that with a line tool to try to find the center that I can attach the center point circle to. For the design that I've got right now, it looks like somewhere around one and a quarter of a circle is going to work for what I need. So I'm going to type in a diameter of one and a quarter. I now will go ahead and cut down the top surface and loft that back up to the circle. How much I cut back will depend on what kind of surface I'm looking for and making sure I don't accidentally cut into the pocket on the bottom. If I cut too much, I'll expose the pocket. So right now I'm going to do a cut of a quarter of an inch, trying to make sure that I don't expose the pocket from the other side. Once I have that cut done, I'm going to share that sketch. change my drive to loft. I'm going to select my main surface. I'm going to select the shared sketch and in the shared sketch I'm going to select just the circle. I can now turn that sketch visibility off. This now gives me a pocketed lid with a lofted surface.